Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 241. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 233 to 245. Hey, we're going to see how to create data validation drop down list. However, every time you select a value, the list then shrinks. So you see, I selected three there, and it's gone from the list. If I select two, when I come down here, the two is gone. So this is a dynamic list that that data validation drop down list that shrinks as you use up the values. Now that's going to involve a bunch of steps. We're going to have to do some formulas, some uh, named formulas using offset, and finally data validation. First, let's start in this column right here, and we're going to ask the question. How many of these items have been used so far? So we'll create a formula here. Equals if, and I'm going to use or. There's a few ways to check two lists. I'm going to use this or and say uh, anything here. Locked F4, F4, dollar sign in front of the row reference because we're copying it down. Are, are any of those equal to this? And that's going to be a relative cell reference. If that's true, if that's actually um, this value here is over in the, this list, then I actually want to put this value here, otherwise blank, close parentheses. Now this is an array because it's asking a bunch of true, true or falses uh, all in a row. I'm going to control shift and hold enter and tap enter. Looks like I forgot my parentheses right there. All right, you ready? Control shift enter. Double click and send it down. So that's a way of getting a list here. Now we need the difference between these because this formula is going to actually be the formula that creates the uh, new list of unused values. I want to uh, type something here. Uh, difference, or actually it will be um, how many left. I obviously didn't leave myself enough room there. there. And I want to do equals count uh, because these are words. Count all of these. How many are there there? Minus count uh, of all of these. We could actually uh, do th this one over here. It doesn't uh, uh, really matter, either one. All right, uh, did I get the right one? All of these minus those. Hmm. Why does it give me zero? Maybe uh, control one. No, it's just got. Uh, oh, it's counting the uh, blank. So actually, we're going to have to come over here. Yeah, because there's a formula for blanks there, so it's counting. So that won't work. We'll do this one over here, and then that one will work. Eight. So there's eight left. All right. Now here's this formula. It's going to be a. Uh, an array formula. We've seen uh, similar formulas many times for creating a, a new list. All right, ready? Equals if. And we want to say rows. And we're in C2, so it'll be C dollar sign 2 colon C2. And what rows does is it tells you how many rows. This is a clever way of counting as you copy your formula down. C2 is locked, but this isn't so when it goes down to the... Right now it's saying how many rows are there. Well, there's just one, right? When it gets down here, right here it'll say C2 to C3. And how many rows are there? Two. So is that less than or equal to? And I need to get the value in D2. And that, that needs to be locked with the F4 key dollar sign in front of the row reference, number two. So that would be a logical test. If that's true, then we're going to do index, because we need to retrieve um, uh, all of the values that um, are not matched, haven't been used so far. Now, the, the list is going to be here. I'm sorry, the array. And I'm going to hit F4, dollar sign in front of the, the row reference, comma. And now here's the tricky part, row number. Now, we've seen this many about five or six other videos where we use this trick with the small and the if. Now the trick is here is if anything in this range right here and that it needs to be locked. If any of those are equal to blank. 
right? Because if that's a blank here, then what do we want? We want to take that value right there. Small, if that, and then we're going to say comma, if that's true, then the value we want is a row number. So we're going to say row, and it doesn't matter which column you use. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to hit F4, F4 twice. Row, and now this will give us right now 2 to 15, right? But we really need 1 to 15. So now we're going to say minus row of this, and I'm going to have to lock that going down. Now, right now, two, it would be 2 minus 2, which is 0, so then we have to add 1. The reason why we, there's other ways we could set up, but what's so nice about this little thing right here is uh, it's contained in here. If you were to, to cut and paste this somewhere else, this formula would, would work, or insert rows above or below or whatever. All right, so now there's our what we want for our logical test of true. We don't need the false, so we're just going to close that off. Notice how the screen tip comes up, and now we want our small, and we're going to use our rows function right here, right, comma, and then rows. That way we'll get the first smallest, the second smallest, the third smallest. Remember, we're going to be getting row numbers returned here, so it'll be like two, or this will be a number one, this will be five, this will be uh, uh, nine, right, or no, well, which seven, eight. Right, so we need all those values. Well, the small right here is looking at this big whole array right here. And this will increment 1, 2, 3. So as we copy it down, it will take number 1 for row, which will give us that one. Number 4 will be the next smallest, or number 5 right here, so we'll take that one. So we're going to close off this small. And then we're going to close off this index because we already have our row number. And then finally, we need our uh, comma and value of false. Well, we want a blank. Close parentheses. Now we control shift enter and then double click and send it down. So there it is. There's our, our uh, new list. Now uh, we have to do a couple more things. Now we need to do offset uh, and create a dynamic range based on these values. So control F3. I'm going to say uh, close just for a moment. Control F3. Let's see if I can do control F3. Whoop. And we want to say new and this will be. Uh, give this a name range for new list and we'll come down here and we're going to do an offset uh, based on uh, the C column so equals off set and where are we going to start we're going to start right there comma, do we want to go down? That's the first argument is where we want to start. The second argument is how many rows up or down do you want to move for your starting position? We want zero. Comma, uh, how many columns left to right do you want to move? We still want to remain in uh, C2, so I'm going to put zero, comma. Finally, how tall is it? So we'll use uh, count, count a. Uh, Actually, we can use uh, this cell right here. We don't need to use it because we've already, uh, oop, so that's the 8. That's how tall it is. Comma, how wide is it? 1. Close parentheses. Click OK. And let's test it and see if it works. Remember this little trick right here. If you see a collapse, you can test to see. And sure enough, it's working just fine. So that's, that'll be our name we use for data validation. Now I'm going to click Close. Now let's come over here and highlight this. Data validation. That is data and then validation right there. In 2003, you go to the data menu and then data validation. And we're going to say uh, list here. We're going to uh, put our name. I'm going to use F3, which is paste name. Range uh, for new list. Double click that and then click OK. And there we have it. If we put one here, next time we are not allowed that three. So if we come down here, we put two. And then we come down here, you see how the two is not there? We'll select five. And then we come down here, you can see that that five is not there. So that is a uh, data validation where you have the list shrinking as you enter values. When they're all used up, then that's it. No more uh, values allowed. All right, we'll see you next trick.